Well, this is just a, a quick video to show some uh, figures I've sent off for from a company called Crooked Dice. Uh, if anyone's ever dealt with them before, you know that they're a top class company and they do really nice figures. So these are ones I got for Christmas, which I've started, but I will finish on video. And these are the uh, League of Gentlemen figures. And the detail is really nice on them. And those are in progress, so I'll be uh, doing a video to complete painting them. And then I also sent off for a little mixed bag. So this is their version of a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. Um, you do get an sort of alternate strange bearded head, but that's definitely a Cylon. Again, really crisp. So I sent off for him. And then I also sent off for a figure of the Brigadier from Doctor Who. And this is actually much nicer than the official <laughs> figure that was produced by uh, a games company sort of in the late 90s, early 2000s. So that's what I'm going to paint. Um, I sent off for a Jason King figure, which is really nice. Stranger, you get a little hand with a sonic screwdriver, so you could turn him into a Time Lord if you wanted to. I should probably just make him up as Jason King. And then I sent off for a bundle of Space 1999 figures. Now, like all of these figures, they're not licensed, so they don't call them Space 1999. But they obviously are, so you've got Commander Koenig uh, in his uh, white sleeveless coat. Uh, never really liked that coat, but uh, again, really nice, pretty good likeness. And then you get a an Alan Carter, which is that one, in his Season 2 uniform. Um, I like the way, let's see if I can get that to focus. I like the way that, uh, you see, the, so you've got the stun gun, and then they've put a little barrel on it. And the same with the handheld one, obviously to get around copyright, but easy to cut off and make into a Space 1999 figure. And then there's one of Maya. Again, quite a nice facial sculpt. And there's a generic security guard. And then I also sent off what I do a sprue of heads. And you get Victor Bergman, the Coney character again and Helena Russell, and I'm going to put the Victor Bergman, I will either adapt this one, because it's almost, it's in a season 2 uniform but it isn't wearing a jacket, so I might adapt this one and trim away all the detail, make the gun into some sort of scientific device and turn that into Bergman, or I might just sculpt a whole new body for it, we'll see what, how it goes. Um, and these were on sale at the moment, so I think the Space 1999 set, you get five figures, and I think that was £15. Um, but the headset was just a pound, which is just mad. That headset was just a pound, so mad value. Um, and then these other figures, I think they were sort of three quid each, something around that. So a really nice little set. And I'll do a video of each of these, painting them, um, uh, when when I uh, can get round to it. Obviously, uh, I've got a lot of figures here to paint. And then the other thing I just wanted to show was um, someone asked in the comments about what was the little figures that were just on my board and it was a uh, a little Star Wars Return of the Jedi uh, scout trooper type figure I'm sure he's got a proper name in the Star Wars circles and it was a little like micro machine set they're selling these in um, uh, Home Bargains which is a UK string of sort of remainder stores um, for a couple of quid and so this one you got a couple of little figures in and then other ones have got like the uh, 8080 that's the one isn't it 80 ST is the chicken eating um, and again a couple of quid each so I'm gonna paint them up weather them a bit perhaps do a little um, diorama but this one I just made for my wife because she she likes that style of armor more than a normal stormtrooper so that's gonna sit on her cupboard shelf um, so I'll see you next time when hopefully I'll be making some of these or perhaps doing some uh, adaptations for the Bergman and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.